Hey, hello, how do you do? Shady D Rex here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts, where the only rule is you gotta complete all your upgrades. Last time we went to, we finished up uh, what we could on the Hercules level, the Colosseum, um, and we came back here to Traverse Town because we had a new gummy piece and Goofy thought Leon might know what it is. Leon didn't know, he told us to go to Sid. Leon also gave us a magic stone, which he had no idea what it did. So we have to figure out what that is. Now, before we get started, I do wanna talk about a few things. This is the first uh, episode I've recorded since the videos have gone up. And since then, a lot of people in the comments have been correcting me on some stuff. and. Thank you guys, please keep doing that, it's it's great. But I do wanna address some of the things that I got wrong in the past, <laughs> just in case uh, somebody was taking my word for it. So uh, first thing, at the beginning, those questions that I answered, uh, apparently those, Apparently those did do something. When they said your journey starts at noon and keep a steady pace, that's because how I answered the questions determines how I level. And my journey starting at noon means that I'm going to be leveling gradually. If my journey had started at morning, my uh, leveling would have been easier or faster in the beginning. And if my journey had started at evening, it would have been faster uh, towards later levels. Uh, the other thing is uh, here with the EXP zero, apparently, be, I've never done this before, so uh, I didn't know. Uh, apparently when you activate that, the leveling and the way the enemies attack is very different. I don't know the exact science behind it or the exact numbers, but it's not as like, cause I was saying like, how would you possibly do that when the enemies scale the way they do? Uh, apparently they scale differently if you turn that on. Um, also, I have two AP. I'm gonna go ahead and equip counterattack. And last but not least, uh, thanks for stepping forward, Donald, because this involves you. So I owe Donald an apology because apparently Donald only knows the spells that you know. And so all those times when I was asking him to heal me, he literally couldn't because he, I didn't know heal, so he didn't know heal. And I wasn't giving him any items, uh, so he couldn't use any potions or anything like that to heal me. Uh, now, to my defense, I did credit Donald one time for healing me when it was Tarzan who did it. So, you know, once out of every 500, you know, I, I deserve some slack on that. Uh, but from now on, Donald, I know heal. So that means you should know heal. So there's no more excuse. Also, um, I need to change my shortcuts. How do I, how do I do that? I actually don't know how to do that. Customize, so, oh, here it is, yeah. So, uh, cause I, fire, I don't see the point of fire. So I'm gonna change that to thunder. I think thunder is, because thunder just immediately works, uh, whereas fire has to travel and it sometimes misses. Freeze is like a shotgun, so it's more reliable than fire. Uh, but, so we got, we we're supposed to go to Sid and figure out what the, uh, the, the gummy thing we got does, but we also have a magic stone and we have no idea what it does. So let's talk to the people who actually know about magic and see if they can help us. Merlin. Never mind. Okay, maybe not you. Um, <laughs> you. Mayhaps you would know. Fairy godmother, that's your name. I almost called her the blue fairy. Hello. My world has disappeared too. That that's it. Nothing else. Um. Okay, well, I, I I thought once Leon gave you the stone, you were supposed to immediately come here, but I guess not. So let's just leave and go to Sid's then. Maybe Sid, going to Sid will activate something. I was talking to some people about why Kingdom Hearts is so good, you know, because the story is the story is pretty convoluted, but it's still such a fun game to play. And one realization, wow, Donald, jeez. <laughs> One realization I came to is, like I kind of knew this in the back of my head, but I didn't, it, it wasn't like a forefront realization, is that the physics in this game are just really good. Like they are consistently good. The sword jumping can be pretty annoying. But every like everything else, sword jumping regularly works fine, but it's when you have to platform that it kind of gets annoying. But 
the physics are just consistently good and you you constantly feel like you control Sora perfectly. And I just wanted to give props because every well every I've only really played two of them, but the two Kingdom Hearts games I've played consistently feel that way. Oh, before we go to Sid, should I go to Sid first? I'll go to Sid first. Okay. Cuz there's there's other stuff I want to do in Traverse Town. Wait a second. Before I go to Sid, I want to check something out. Donald just leveled up. All right. So before we go to Sid, I want to see if anything happens with this house cuz there the, I've said this before. Ah! Yuffie. I, I didn't expect to see you here. I knew something was going to happen with this house. I didn't expect it to be Yuffie. Yuffie, nobody's living here. Why don't we use it? Oh, I'm completely misremembering what happens here. I thought this was a completely different place. Okay, so I, I guess that's that. <laughs> I wanted to check that out right quick. There's other things in Traverse Town that I will be doing, uh, but l let me take care of Sid first. I'm scared I'm going to miss some stuff, I'm, uh, it, which is very easy to do. Like... There are things that happen in Traverse Town that I went years without realizing they happen. Yo, Sid! Can you help? What you got there? Hey! Well, if it ain't a gummy block, I know where those are. Yep. What's this one for? You're kidding me! You're flying a gummy ship and you don't know, and you know nothing about navigation gummies? Yeah, that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> Bunch of pinheads. Inner space ain't no playground. How do you know about inner space? There's a lot we don't know. So what? We have to use the gummy ship to go to other worlds. Yes, I'm aware of that. Why, why did you tell me that? We don't have a choice. Like, oh, we have to use the gummy ship to go to the other worlds. We don't know. We don't have a choice. Okay, I just said it with the wrong cadence. Whoa, easy, easy. Don't attack me. I'm just a shopkeeper. You've got weapons. I didn't know. No hard feelings, all right? Well, I guess I could lend y'all a hand then. Thanks. Basically, with navigation gummies, you can go to new places. You want one on your ship, right? I'll install it for you. But I got this thing I gotta do go deliver first. What do you need to deliver? Just this book. It's real old. When oh, okay. So yeah, I was supposed to come here first. Okay. When the guy brought, brought it in, it was practically falling apart. Too beat up to restore it to the way it was. But overall, I did a decent job putting it back together. Yep, I'm patting myself on the back. Good job. Anyway, you mind delivering it for me? It's the old house past the third district. Look for a big fire sign. I've already been there. What was that? Oh, <clears throat> that's Sora. What was that? Huh? The bell at the gizmo shop is ringing. Go check it out if you want, but deliver that book for me first. When you're done, stop by the house in the third district. I'll be there. The house in the third district. When you're... Wait, when you're done, stop by the house in the third district. I'll be there. The house with Yuffie? Okay, before I do any of that, though, I do... I would like some more items. Let's check my items. How we doing? Uh, potion, potion, mega potion. <clears throat> in stock. Uh, let's see. I got plenty of potions. Decent amount of ether. Uh, I have a lot of money, though. And I'm not scared of running out of money because they enemies just drop, them like cra drop money like crazy. So... I want to be overstocked on items. Uh, so I could get Donald and Goofy some better weapons. I'm not gonna. Maybe I'll do that later, but right now I'm not gonna. I kind of want to. I, I kind of want to stock Donald up on Ether, just because it would be good if he had Ether on him. So. I want to do that and see how that pans out. Yeah, I'm just going to give... Oh, he can't hold anymore. And then I've already got some in stock. So let's go back to customize and Donald because... Let's see, I got him... Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, HP items... Or MP items frequently. 
defensive magic constantly off i mainly want donald on defense i want to be doing the damage so uh let's have him do offensive magic frequently um no, let's have him do it occasionally. Cause I'm, like I said, I want to do most of the damage. Regular text, I guess frequently, just so he's doing something. And defensive magic constantly. And then... Um, advanced magic. Tell us how often to cast special magic that consumes MP. Okay, we'll, we'll leave this for now. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and I'm not really giving Goofy anything, even though I do have an abundance of potions, so I could give Goofy potions. But I'm kind of scared to do that. So, all right, let's go where we were going. Uh, the back to the the magic people shop. Yeah, I just I, I just got uh, I went there prematurely. Max items and I learned tech boost. Uh, tech boost sounds familiar. What does that do? Oh, I, I I got in the the menu right before the heartless spawn. What does tech boost do? Uh, tech boost. Increase tech points obtained by parrying enemy attacks. Equip more to boost. Okay, so that could be useful, but I would rather have more ways of attacking than earn experience faster. Uh, strike back after parrying an enemy. Okay, I have to parry in order to do this counterattack. And slap shot. Rapidly strike enemies ahead of you. Okay. So. Because I'm not really noticing a difference with slap shot. I know that other one requires, uh, the, the counter-attack requires me to counter. There we go, now! Okay, Donald's participating! Alright, this feels like a... This feels like a real good group now. Goofy's, Goofy's the meat shield, like he's supposed to, and Donald's actually healing. Yo, my homie G, got this book for you, dog. Oh, that book, Ellipsis. So Sid asked you to bring this. Thank you. You wish to know what kind of book it is? I don't even know myself. In fact, it's not mine. I stole it. Somehow it finds its way into my bag one day. It was such a curious book, I asked Sid to repair it for me. Well, I guess I'll put it here somehow for now. The book holds a great secret. The missing pages will unlock it. I'll leave the book over there. Do look at it whenever you like. My best regards to Sid for repairing it for me. Oh, and about that stone of yours. What the, what, what, how do you know about that? Well, I guess Merlin does know stuff that he shouldn't. You should ask the fairy godmother about that. <laughs> okay, just as I'm saying you know stuff you shouldn't. Yeah, I don't know. I know you have the stone, but I don't know what it does. Do you know what this is? It's a rock. A rock! A rock! Oh, the poor thing. He has turned into a summon gem. I feel like you're just making stuff up. A summon gem? This little creature lived in a world that was consumed by darkness. Uh, so did I. When a world vanishes, so do its inhabitants. In inhabitants. Uh, I didn't. But this one had such a strong heart. So do I! He became a gem instead of vanishing with his world. Wait, uh, what about a uh, Jiminy Cricket? His world vanished. Can he regain himself? Yes, but only his spirit. Now watch. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Learn summon spell, Simba. Do you summon? Yeah, 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 yeah. Summon, summon, summons. Summon, summons. Whenever you call, he will help you. If you find any more of these, bring them to me. Don't worry, when their worlds are restored, they will return They will return there. When their worlds are restored? You're assuming a lot, ma'am. We never even talked about restoring worlds. Sora, please help save them. Don't worry, I will. Okay, so let's go check out this book. I can't. And something had whoa, you moved. Oh, this is the book. Okay, so I was confused. I thought it was this book over here. No, it's this book. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. On the bottom left, we got a new command, summon, and we can summon Simba. Hello, why are you over here? I'll leave the book here whenever you like. Blah, blah, blah. No, never mind. Why did you come down, I guess? Just to show he... Ah! You best go see Sid before going anywhere else. 
I'm, I'm not trying to go anywhere else. I just wanted to save. Jeez. <laughs> I guess they needed that because they've locked me out of going to the gummy ship. Hello. What is this? Um, Merlin, you didn't tell me that by reading the book, I was going to blue skidoo. Hmm. What is these? An empty metal. Take a look. Sure. <gasps> it's the guy from the thing! Sink, 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 sink. Oh, geez, what was the point if I was just. Hi there. What's wrong? <laughs> they could have just played this cutscene. I'm just thinking. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Nani? Pooh? You flush yes. the toilet. Wait a second. You're Poo? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I never got that. He's I'm Winnie sorry. the Pooh. Oh, so hello, shouldn't his sorry. name be Winnie? But have they call him Pooh. To say goodbye to Pooh too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Did, because was this in the original? Away. What do you mean? Well, we all lived here in the Hundred Acre Wood, and we'd take walks together, or play poo sticks. Poo sticks? And every day, I'd eat some honey. That sounds disgusting. Or just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. Ha uh ha. -huh. All my friends, and my favorite honey tree, too. Aw. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. Ellipsis. So, who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. Yeah, this had to be because I remember this uh, title intro, how it just comes out of nowhere. So for some reason, Winnie the Pooh is like one of the few levels where the music is just super spot on. Hello. Mithril Shard. Thank you. Uh, anything else in here? Deep in the hundred acre wood. See, it's just, it's spot on. Uh, unfortunately, hey, I can't, I can't do my dodge roll. Uh, unfortunately, I can't just sit here and let you listen to it because uh, YouTube gets mad when I do that, so. Now can I go to this place? What is this? Oh, I can save. Now I can do my dodge roll. Where did this come from? All right, let's go here. An odd sign hangs above the house. Take a look. Sure. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Little tub me all stuff with fluff. I shouldn't sing because sometimes the audio is slightly out of sync. I'm annoyed that I can't dodge roll. Honey pot. Ah! That is a big owl. Hello. Have we met before? Welcome to the Hundred Acre Wood. You didn't even introduce yourself? Ring. So, does that say ring also? Ring. Ring. Okay, I tried it three times. Can I look inside? Who's in there? Oh, bother. There's no more honey left. 
If only the honey tree would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fill. The spelling of honey, oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see, what can we do? Oh, I can open the window. Let's some air in. Why did I do that? So I just go around opening other people's windows? Examine. And their cupboards? This is mine now. Hello. These just Easter eggs? This makes the game more immersive. Uh, nope. Nothing else going on in there. Hello, owl. Let me guess, you'd like to know what happens next. Sure. Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages are scattered over many worlds. Will you find them for us? Sure. And I guess that's all we can do for now, even though some of these houses are filled in. But yeah, it's really cool that the Winnie the Pooh, the Winnie the Pooh world, the Hundred Acre Woods, that's what it's called, is a literal book. I, I've always loved that aspect about the game. All right, so let's go back to the outside world. Let's go. I don't think there's anything else we could do yet, and we can always come back later. We will be coming back later. All right, so that's, I think that's everything with the magic peeps. So now we're supposed to go to the house that's in the third district. But here's the thing oh, I missed. Leon said that there is a move. <laughs> Leon said that there is a uh, a heart in every world. And he said this world has one. So, ah. I didn't realize this cutscene was going to... <gasps> there you are. What's going on? Riku! Riku! Hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to find you. Riku, you need a haircut. Riku. Your hair is all up in your eyes. Wait a second. Where's Kyrie? Isn't mm. she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island, too. Yeah, I think our island free. is exploded. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this. You're just showing off, Sora. Leave it to who? Oh, yeah, that's his rival. He did that Sora, on purpose. Uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kyrie too, with their help. Is what are they? Aliens? Who are they? <laughs> we visited so many places and worlds looking for you. Why did you not really? answer his question, Sora? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora is the Keyblade Master. I just went around telling people that, Goofy. What's that mean? So, this is called a keyblade? Huh? Hey, give it back! Uh, you can't wield a keyblade. Gotcha. Actually, that's... Whoa. That's kind of interesting. Okay. That might be so foreshadowing right us, there. Right? The fact that Rika was awesome able to rocket. take the keyblade from we Sora while Sora was conscious. He can't come. What? The, the... what? Forget us! Oh, come on. He's my friend. Donald, do you not remember, like, what you're oh, supposed to be doing? Gone. Sora is only here to look for his friends. And you're supposed to be following nice him. Going. Oh, well. At least he's okay. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into Kairi soon, too. It is interesting that Sora just immediately, like, now that he's seen Riku, he's calm about it. Like, he just wanted to know Riku was okay, and now he knows. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Riku being able to grab the Keyblade like that. I think that's heavy foreshadowing that I never realized before. Because uh, I, I thought they were just trying to say, oh, look at Riku. He's really cool. He's, he's so good at fighting that he can uh, grab Sora's weapon without Sora noticing. But, of course, we've seen before that other people can't wield the Keyblade. Like, if they try, 
it disappears and goes back to Sora. You have to knock Sora unconscious to get the Keyblade away from him. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we're supposed to go to this house because uh, that's where Sid told us to go, but there is, we were told there is a keyhole to this world and I think we should go and look for it. Plus we heard some bells before. Hello, how you doing? Have you seen Riku? Well, actually I'm not looking for him anymore. I'm, I, I know he's okay, so I'm not, ow. <laughs> I'm not worried about it anymore. Or Sora is it? Can you not? Thank you. All right. Unfortunately, Donald, because you are now really good at healing, I think the Donald is dead meme it has come to an end. I was really enjoying that meme, and I was hoping it was going to go on for a while. <laughs> but I think we're done with it. Hello. I'm just going to go around here because... All right. He's done. No, he's not. He lied to me! It's okay, though. Oh, my goodness. The Donald meme is a lie. Donald is absolutely healing me. Wow, yeah. <laughs> I owe Donald just a huge... Okay. That's... A, I, I don't like that. I don't like there being four of these things on the map at the same time. These things are annoying because you can only attack them from one angle. No, Donald can't be down. Also, Donald died again. The meme lives. You know what? Donald's been nice to me. Donald. I'm gonna I'm I'm return the favor. Yeah. Goofy learned Tornado. Oh, I didn't know he learned that in this game. I thought that was a Kingdom Hearts 2 thing. Yeah. Donald is dead again. All right, Donald, you... uh. I was I was giving you some uh, favor before. I don't, I don't know how long I can keep being nice. I got limited magic. Okay, do I have a second to breathe? Okay, so remember that uh, that loose wire we saw? Well, that wire actually leads to this building up here, uh, which I probably should have showed off earlier. The gizmo shop. I probably should have showed this off earlier, but. Like, there's really no particular reason to go in here, but let's do it now. See, now it's all working. Before, if you come in here, before you do that thing with the wire, uh, it's nothing in here is working, but now everything is turned on. So, it's gonna come up here, and I think, uh, Donald, did you just die again? Press that. And Goofy's dead, too. Press this. You missed. <laughs> I didn't even mean to dodge that. Excuse me. Ow. Okay. I was trying to give y'all precious more minutes of life, but you decided to attack me. So I pushed those three switches. That did something. Who knows? Uh, by the way, let's try our new power. Simba, I summon thee. The one true king, baby. Now summoning gets rid of your allies, but it gives you another ally. That could do cool attacks. And uh, unfortunately, it uses up your magic. And I don't, I, I forget what the limiter is on uh, in this game. It's something else in, in Kingdom Hearts 2. But it's kind of something you want to save in your pocket uh, for very specific situations. Because, like, the damage that Simma did, I could have done myself. And as well as saved up my magic. But I believe his roar is AoE, so. Ah, more? What? What's this? The clock is stuck at 6.54. Postcard! Two postcards! I didn't even know I, had to, I could do that. I didn't know that was there. Uh, what else is in this room? Can I... 
Can I attack these levers now? Okay, so I think that's that. Now we'll see what happened because I did that. If anything, uh, I don't know if that, like it, it made a noise when do, 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 do. Let's see what's up here. Hello? Let's do it guys. One, two, three. Trinity. Shouldn't Goofy go first? He's got the shield. Also, what's this? Why is this box here? Bells. 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 Ring the bells. 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 Bells of Traverse Tower. Okay, we have run out of time for today's episode, so join me next time as we finish exploring Traverse Town and figure out what these bells do, because that just did something over there at the fountain. And uh, after that, we will go and visit Sid and figure out uh, what exactly the thing he's putting on our gummy ship does. This has been Shady Durex. So long. Farewell. Afida said. Goodbye.